Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be an energy check-in love reading for my dearest Leos. Leo, we're going to take a look at the person most on your mind or your current situation. And if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages, advice, and guidance come through for my dearest Leos for their highest and greatest good. Clear messages, advice, and guidance for my Leos, please. All right, overall energy, we have the devil. So some of you, you're dealing with a Capricorn or maybe you have Capricorn in your chart. Your person, three of wands, and they're viewing you as the 10 of cups, all right? Their true intentions towards you are the fool, okay, Aries energy. And your advice, Knight of Swords energy in reverse, okay? And we have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. All right, Leo. So it looks like you're not taking action towards this person. Maybe you're not communicating with them. For a lot of you, you're just not going to see this coming. Again, it could be a Capricorn. Um, it does look like your person, you know, you may think that this person has their back to you. So it could be somebody that you are interested in. It could be someone that you don't know has these feelings for you. It could be somebody that you're in separation from. You know your stories better than I do, but I do feel like it's going to come as quite a surprise that this person takes a leap of faith towards you. Again, maybe they're just going to ask you out, tell you how they're feeling. For some of you, they want reconciliation. Leo, they're seeing the Ten of Cups with you, and we have those two lovebirds there. So they definitely see you as a soulmate. They see this as, you know, a love connection for sure. But let's take a look and see why do we have the devil here? Clear messages, advice, and guidance. Why do we have the devil here? We have the Ace of Pentacles, so a lot of potential here, a new beginning, a solid offer coming your way. And, you know, even though the devil, it can be something toxic or it can be, you know, um, a karmic situation or cycle, I'm actually just reading this as Capricorn energy. And Capricorns get kind of a bad rap, right? So Capricorn energy is pragmatic, it's wise, it's a slow-moving energy here. And a lot of my Leos... Um, that may be a difference between you and this person because you kind of feel like this person has their back to you, um, but they're but they're making you an offer and we have the Ten of Swords. Okay, so maybe some of you have had an ending here. For others of you, it's possible you or this person have ended some sort of tough or karmic cycle, but I don't really feel like it's between the two of you. Again, maybe if you know exactly who I'm talking about, there was something unhealthy, but what I like about this Ten of Swords is that it's over, that there's been a very painful ending, but that karmic toxic cycle is over or relationship. And for a lot of you, like I said, this is somebody brand new. I could be picking up on their background, their history, or yours. They're in the energy here of the Three of Wands. So this person is definitely, they're looking for growth and expansion. Maybe some of you, they're a little bit at a distance from you. All right. And we see the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. They haven't been taking action. They haven't been communicating. Again, some of you think either they're not interested or you just don't even know that they have these feelings for you. But with the High Priestess, Cancer Pisces energy... Um, this person has secret feelings for you. I mean, for a lot of you, this is a secret admirer or they've just been keeping their, you know, keeping their feelings to themselves, holding back. For some of you, this person has been celibate for a while is what I'm hearing. Um, with the Ten of Cups, though, they see happiness and union with you, Leo, and the Hermit card energy in reverse, Virgo energy. So maybe some of you are Leo Virgo cusps, but with the Hermit energy showing up in reverse, I see that. This person can't wait to see you. Um, this person is hoping to see you again. So maybe you've been on a date or two with this person. Maybe you work with this person. I just feel like it's going to come as such a shock and a surprise here that this person has these feelings for you and the page of wands. They want to take a leap of faith towards you. They're really, really hoping, you know, uh, that you'll accept their offer or when they take a leap of faith towards, you know, when they take this leap of faith towards you with the full energy that you'll want to start something new here with them. So the full Aries energy are their true intentions. And we see the seven of cups, all right? A lot of wandering and we get the star card, your opposite sign, Aquarius energy. 
Leo, this person really, really has spent a lot of time fantasizing about you, fantasizing about how things will unfold, where this is, where this connection is going. And with the star card, like they definitely put you up on a pedestal and they only have eyes for you. And this person, again, they're slow moving energy. Maybe they're a Capricorn in particular. They have that strong earthy energy in their chart, but they've been playing a little bit more of the long game here. So with the Knight of Swords energy in reverse, I'm actually just reading this as uh, some of you, you're just not in communication or, or a lot of communication with this person, but I feel more so you're just not going to see this coming. And we get the Knight of Cups energy in reverse and the Ace of Cups. Some of my Leos, you are going to be a little wishy-washy here about whether or not you want to start things with this person. Maybe it's a friend that wants to be more and you don't want to ruin the friendship. For others of you, you might work with this person or there's something here. You know, there's something here that makes you feel a little bit uncomfortable. Now, maybe some of you have just been through some really tough relationships or a divorce and you're enjoying the single life and you're just not sure you want to fully invest in a committed relationship or get into another relationship so soon. And with the six of wands energy in reverse, uh, some of you, you, you might even be not so sure because this person, maybe you felt like they were ignoring you or they just weren't upfront about how they were really feeling. So you kind of already formed some opinions about them. So I do think you're going to be in your head, and I see that with the hermit energy, they might know that, that you're going to be very analytical. Um, you're, you're going to really sort of ruminate over whether or not you want to advance things here with them. Um, and, and maybe some of you, they, they haven't been putting in a whole lot of effort, and so you're kind of like mm, maybe looking elsewhere or just, you know, not so sure if you can trust this. So let's see, what are this person's motivations or what is influencing this person the most so we get energy Ooh, okay so she's i see those two flames that are coming out of her hands this person mm, they feel you when you're not apart this person is building up strength and courage they're in an energy of power and we have freedom yeah so a lot of you they're feeling really powerful because they've freed themselves from a toxic situation. Maybe they've healed themselves. Maybe they've quit drinking. Maybe they've quit, you know, overspending. Like it just feels like your person's in a really high vibration and they're seeing things from a higher perspective. I also see with this Pegasus down there, they see you as someone extremely special. You know, they feel the magic here, Leo. And we also see growth. Yeah, that this person, again, earthy energy here. This person really wants growth and expansion with you. Um, and again, I think this is going to come as quite a surprise. I think it's going to come as quite a surprise for my Leos because you're not going to see it coming. You're not going to expect it. All right. So let's go ahead and see what clear messages, advice, and guidance come through. What does this person want you to know? All right. So karma. I'm, experience the mo I'm experiencing the most difficult lessons not because they're new, but because I now understand what I needed to learn and release. Absolutely. So this person, there's that karma energy. They've been working on releasing karma, maybe through forgiveness. Again, letting go of another situation. It doesn't necessarily have to be romantic. All right. And we have heart space. I'm becoming more willing to feel to let you in and be emotionally vulnerable. So they're definitely feeling the love here, Leo, and this person's open and ready for love. Now, you're going to have to leave a comment down below if you're open to this or not. Are you feeling the same way? And we see mystified, and I definitely get that here with the Seven of Cups. Our inexplicable connection has had quite an effect on me. Yeah, so they're still, they're mystified by this connection. This person might be psychic, intuitive, or mystic themselves because I do like that, um, the peony energy, the high priestess. For some of you, peonies might be your favorite flower or theirs. Um, some of you, they may give you peonies or maybe they did like on a first date or something like that. I love peonies. And, and what we see here is like a peony is like closed and they're these tight little balls and they really, it's like the, un, it's like the ever unfolding flower. So I kind of feel like things are unfolding, unfolding slowly, but surely. 
and they're showing me ants. And for those of you who are into gardening or know anything about flowers, peonies actually, from what I understand, need ants to open. And ants are a sign of collaboration. So this person and hard work, right? And so they're, they're, they've been putting in this work and like really opening up that heart chakra, that heart space in order to have something very powerful, very viable with you. So let's go ahead and see what advice spirit has for my Leos here regarding this person, regarding this connection. Advice and guidance for my Leos, please. All right, so we see trust, full energy spirit saying, you know what, Leos, take a leap of faith here. I love this. I love this Aries energy. Okay, it's like, yes, I'm ready for this new adventure. I'm open. Look at how her arms are back. Her chest is open. That heart chakra, that heart space is available. And we get devil energy in reverse, more Capricorn energy. So this is about putting the past in the past. This is about leaving karmic situations behind. Okay, and we see a balance. This is temperance energy showing up in reverse. I do see a strong soulmate connection. But what I'm getting here is this person can't really hold back anymore. And you're going to get this ace of cups. You're going to get a love offer here from this person. All right, it might throw you off. It might sort of, it might kind of freak you out a little bit, spin you out a little bit, because I don't think a lot of my Leos are going to see this coming. But from where I'm standing, it feels pretty good. And, and with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, just keep doing you, focusing on you, raising your vibration, Leo. I feel this person's coming in and spirit saying, give this person a chance or take a leap of faith here. All right, I'm going to leave it here. If these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using, or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light. Take care.